I wanted to go ahead and do a 20,000 mile review on my RT-01s, the Falcon Wild Peak, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hybrid, they call it a rugged terrain, uh, so it's between a all terrain and a mud terrain. Um, good and bad on these, I did have the mud terrains, uh, that's what came with it. Um, and to be honest, if I had to get the mud trains again or the or these uh, RT-01s, I would get these. And there's several reasons why. Um, I've been to a lot of places, been to some Jeep Jamborees, been to some uh, Jeep Badge of Jeep Badge trails. Um, we just uh, finished the um, Alcan Highway, and we just finished the um, Denali Highway, um, and. I got stuck several times in the mud tires. The mud tires, I got stuck several times. These have been lots of places we now call the Jeep the icebreaker because these went through a four foot ice pit. There's about two inches of ice, about four feet of ice, well, three feet of ice underneath it. Three feet of water. Three feet of water underneath it. And it was breaking the ice. Uh, these have, ne I've never been stuck in these. And yeah, you may be right. Maybe I'm not trying hard enough, but I think that um, they've done just as well off-road as the mudders. They're quieter than the mudders. Um, and I think that by now, after 20,000 miles, the mudders started getting louder and, and, and rougher. I do know that by now, 20,000 miles, the mudders started chunking, meaning that the rubber started kind of coming off of some of these lugs, which makes sense because it's a softer, softer um, rubber. Uh, the mud tires are made with softer rubber so they can comply with the ground better. But again, I've never been stuck in these. So um, these are holding up better, um, quieter, less, um, less bumpy. Now the, the cons. For some reason, um, and, and I do think it wasn't so much driver error, these have, have kind of hydroplaned on the highway in rain. Um, not bad, just enough where you're like, oh, I gotta slow down my speed. Actually never had that with the mud tires. I'm confused about that. Um, it could be those, the softer compound of the rubber sticks to the road better, I don't know. But these have actually hydroplaned three or four times. Again, not bad, um, but enough to slow your speed now. Um, and then finally, oh yeah, these, these hold uh, gravel more than my, my mud terrains did. That doesn't bother me. Uh, it bothers a lot of people, but I actually have fun picking it out, to be honest. <laughs> um, we do have the all-terrains on my Cadillac. Don't take it off road much. And so I am wondering, I am, I am toying with the idea of uh, when I replace these at about 50,000 miles, I'm, I'm toying with the idea of replacing with the all-terrains and just seeing um, how they do, but I am I am a, a fan of the Falcon or Falcon um, Wild Peak series, uh, and this is the RT01 20,000 mile review. Anything else, Miss Dorothy? You're in Alaska right now. Ah, we're in Alaska right now, and we drove from Georgia, so a lot of those miles are highway. We're about 5,000 miles from home, um, and have really you know the tires have been great. That's all. Thank you.